Hey guys I am Simpu from Motion Tutorials and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a calendar animation inside of After Effects. Let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright so here we are in After Effects, let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this calendar animation and the stage size should be 1920 by 1080 and a frame rate of 29.97, duration of 10 seconds is enough. Click on OK. Go to the project panel and import the calendar illustration. Before importing this illustration we need to change import options, and select, composition, retain layer sizes. Drag this calendar composition into the timeline. Now double click on that. And as you can see here illustration layers, you can little bit changes on that layers. As you can see here, 16 number layer I have already put 16 days text in the illustration but, in 17 number layer calendar page is empty so we can create 17 days text in After Effects. Go to the tool panel and select the text tool. Now let's create 17 days text here. Place this text in the same position. And then select both layers and press Ctrl plus Shift plus C. This is the shortcut key of pre-compose. Select the composition layer and change the label color. This is just for understanding. Now press Y, this is the shortcut key of move anchor point, and drag this anchor point to the top of the calendar. Then apply the 3D option of the composition, press R, this is the shortcut key for 3D orientation properties. Let's animate the calendar using the X rotation value. Create the first keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch icon button, and create a second keyframe around 1 second. Now jump to the first keyframe and put the X rotation value minus 266. Select both keyframes and click the right button on the mouse. Select keyframe assistant and click on Easy Ease, F9 this shortcut key of Easy Ease. Now go to the graph editor and adjust the little bit graph point. It's good for me. Now let's jump to the next process. Go to the layer and select layer style and then click on color overlay. As you can see here red color is applied to the calendar. Now open this color overlay option and select a white color in the color panel. Make sure your composition is selected, press T, this is the shortcut key for opacity. Create the first keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch icon button, and create a second keyframe around 1 second, now jump to the first keyframe and put the opacity value 0. Now go to the color overlay and create the first keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch icon button, and create a second keyframe and put the opacity value 0. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Now let's jump to the next process. Go to the project panel and select 17 number composition and then press Ctrl plus D. This is the shortcut key of duplicate. As you can see here 18 number composition is created, drag this composition into the timeline. If you wish you can change the label color. Now you can change the date of the 18 number composition. After that, you can change the anchor point to the top of the calendar. 
Then apply the 3D option of the composition. Select all keyframes and copy, and then paste all keyframes to the 18 number composition. Keyframes are not visible so you can press U. This is the shortcut key for reveal all keyframe properties. Now you can adjust both compositions into the sequence. As you can see here red color is applied to the calendar. Now open this color overlay option and select a white color in the color panel. Now let's play this animation how it looks like. This is awesome to me I hope it's good for you. Now you can follow the same process for the 19 number composition. Now let's select all three compositions, and press, U. I want to just reveal all keyframe properties. Overall animation is good. This is a very simple process for animating that kind of calendar. Now let's jump to the end process. Go to the layer and select, New, and then click on the, Null object. Select all calendar compositions and layers and then parent pick whip with a null object. Here you can set the null object anchor point at the bottom. Select null object and press, S. This is the shortcut key of scale. Click on the constrain proportions icon. You can set a single dimension at a time. Now let's see how it works. Click on the scale stopwatch icon button. I am going to make a bounce effect on a calendar, so you can follow the same process for your video. After that, you can copy the same scale value and paste around 2 seconds. Adjust the keyframes according to calendar animation. Now let's play the animation how it looks like. Guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are watching my video for the very first time, and press that bell icon button so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. Goodbye for now, see you in the next video.